Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. At the end of this video, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and show your support. Today we will talk about colored pencils. Colored pencils have all these nice colors. They can go up to 150 different shades of colors. There are two types of colored pencils, the wax-based and the oil-based. I will be making another video about the differences, so it's coming soon. So with colored pencils, in order to get the right tone, you might have to blend it with different colors. L let's say the skin color or uh, the shade, and you know the hair you might have to use different kinds of color pencils in order to get the perfect tone that you're looking for today i'm going to be using uh, 36 polychromos about the drawing paper i'm using today uh, bristol's um, fine paper smooth surface it's the 300 series so with colored pencils i find smooth surfaces much much better working much better because that's uh, the best way that they blend before i start my tutorial i also want to remind you to watch my video here it's about colored pencils it's introducing you how to use those colored pencil and what you should do before you work with them if this is your first time Color pencils are a little bit different. They're a little bit more difficult to deal with. It might take a little bit longer uh, time than getting what you want. But at the end, the result is amazing, guys. So today I'm doing the portrait of Mae Jameson. Mae Jameson is a physician, engineer, and she was the first black female who went to space with NASA. She's so smart, she's so inspiring that I had to do her portrait and remind you guys like the importance of her presence in our history. If you're ready, we can start and at the end of this video, if you're happy with it, please don't forget to subscribe to show your support guys. I'll see you soon. As the first step, I am putting in all the darkest values. And on the left, you can see which pencils I used for the skin. And these are from Faber-Castell. The names are from there, that set. But you can use any close colors if you want to draw this portrait with me. And don't forget the full-time tutorial. This real-time tutorial of this portrait is available on my Patreon website, patreon.com slash I am putting all the darkest values in and then I'm going in with burnt ochre and I am putting the mid-tones with this beautiful pencil. After this, I will add the orange tones and magenta tones. Every skin has different kind of tones and different types of shades. So it is important to uh, identify them before you start drawing so you can choose your pencils. As you saw in my video in the middle, I tested my pencils as well. Just on a blank paper, you can just blend different colors and see which shade, which value is the closest one to the reference photo. After I added all the dark and mid-tones, I added some lighter tones also, especially under the eye. And after I added those burnt ochre and orange values, I went over with everything and I burnished with my cream and white pencils. So after burnishing, I still added some layers, especially the neck area. There were some really darker areas and then the lighter ones. After that, I switched to eyes. Eyes required six different pencils. About the eyes, something that we should know is the white of the eye is actually never white. So we use the warm gray colors in order to color those white of the eye areas. And around the eye, I tried to use black and my walnut brown colors. After I finish, of course, there are eyelids. Eyelids are exactly the same as the skin, so burnt ochre and magenta was my main color. And I am going in with a black colored pencil to do the eyelashes, and then I will do the same with the eyebrows. I will use walnut brown and black and also some magenta tones underneath to do my eyebrows. Again, just like in the charcoal drawing, eyelashes and eyebrows are drawn one by one. Lips had four main colors, 
she had lipstick on so I had the magenta and middle purple pink but the deep scarlet red I used for the gums and also the natural tone of her lips and I didn't forget the highlighted areas on the lips so you have to highlight them with white pencil color as well the earrings for the earrings I only used my black pencil I just um, used a little bit of pressure somewhere and some places I did not so that I gave the the reflection much better that way for the shirt I used four different colors ultramarine light ultramarine and mo I don't know how to pronounce that and then the my white color of course I tried to give all those areas that are folded the realistic effect so it took me a while after this I'm gonna use I'm not it's not in the video but I'm going to use some solvent to to make this shirt much more realistic and they will blend much better that way and finally the hair hair takes a very long time I usually first put in the darkest shades I am in with my walnut brown I am following the directions from my reference point reference photo because the the growth of the hair needs to follow the exact same direction she has beautiful brown black hair with some reddish tones in it so I'm definitely going to go later in with my Venetian red and burnt ochre to make it more realistic and to make it look like more like the reference photo one thing about the hair too I usually again with solvent I go and blend these colors and I go over again with a few more layers afterwards I am of course um, speed drawing here but there will be a solvent uh, layering and blending step So as the last touches I want to use my white gel pen in the eye and the lips and also my as I said my solvent for the larger areas I want to blend those colors that's it guys it's finished it's great to have you guys in my channel if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe I'll see you next time